Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to install Ubuntu on the Windows 10 or 11. Now, we're not installing this with a dual boot, but more like a Windows subsystem for Linux, which is a system for running Linux on Windows. It's not like running native Ubuntu on your Windows, but it's enough for a lot of things. So the first thing you want to do is go to your start button and start typing control panel. As you're typing control panel, you'll see this button show up. So go ahead and click on that. Now on this screen that shows up, go to programs and then go to turn Windows features on and off, which is a link right over there. Now in this box, go ahead and scroll down all the way. And here you will see Windows subsystem for Linux. I already have it checked, but if you don't go ahead and click on that. Now you're going to be asked to restart your computer. So go ahead and finish that step. Now with your computer restarted, go to start button again and type CMD or CMD EXE and hit enter. Now in this command prompt, go ahead and type bash and hit enter. Now here it's going to say Windows subsystem for Linux has no installed distribution. So go ahead and copy this link, which is the link for the Microsoft store. And then in your browser, just go ahead and paste that into the address bar and click on the open Microsoft store button. Now here, you don't want to click anything on the screen. Just go to the search bar on top and start typing Ubuntu. Now here I'm going to select Ubuntu 2204 or whatever the latest version is. And on the next screen, I'm going to click on the get button. So you're going to see this pop up for your Microsoft password or pin code. So go ahead and enter that here. Now it's going to take about a minute. So I'm going to speed this up. And once it's finished downloading, go ahead and click on the open button. Now the unpacking process is going to take a while as well. So I'm going to speed through it. And finally, you'll see this bash open asking you to enter your username. So go ahead and pick a username. I'm going to use Luna just for no reason at all. And also enter your password two times. And after you have done that, you will have installed Ubuntu on your Windows system. Now in the same terminal, you can start using Linux commands ls-al. It's going to output the contents of current directory. pwd. Now to check which drives you have available here, go ahead and type ls-mnt. Here I have my C, E, F, G, and R drives. These are the mounted drives on my Windows, but you might have different letters. So I'm going to go and CD into slash M and TC, which is my C drive. And then let's say I'll go to users folder, go to my username. And if I print out the contents of this folder here, I have my random.py program which is a Python program. Then I have some keys and all those things. Now I can go to the desktop on my C drive, which will be pretty much empty, I think. So I'm gonna LS to see the contents of my desktop. And as you can see, I just have here some basic files, luna.txt. I'm going to create a new file by using the touch command and name it felix.txt. Then I'm going to use the, as you can see, I created it here. Then I'm going to use the nano editor, which is a basic editor for editing text files in Linux. And I'm going to type something, let's say hello from Felix, control X to exit and hit a Y to save the file. And then I'm going to call the command called cat felix.txt to see the content of that file. To see the contents of luna.txt file, I'm going to type cat luna.txt. And as you can see here, we have hello from Luna, which is the content of the text file. Now with the enabling the subsystem for Linux on Windows, we also installed the bash. So if you go to start button and just type bash, and hit enter or click on open button. Now this is your Linux bash on the windows. And as you can see, all the same commands from Linux still work. 
So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD into my user directory. And really, this is pretty much the end of this tutorial. Um, I'm going to check my Node version. As you can see, I have Node version 16 installed on my computer.